Hey everybody, Jesse for AndroidCentral.com here, taking a look at the MyTouch 4G ROM that was ported over to the Evo. Uh, works pretty well, has a few quirks about it, a few things that don't work, but it's uh, pretty usable. Uh, you wouldn't want to use it as a daily driver yet, but um, it has a few things about it. Um, let's uh, check out some of the widgets here. Have, uh, some of the widgets have been improved, which is definitely for the better. Um, the flip clock now features the actual animation you know, going on as the, as the time changes, the minute changes. And uh, that's something Windows Mobile has had for quite a while and Android users have been begging for. Uh, and now we have it. And uh, hopefully uh, older versions of Sense will get that uh, update. Um, but uh, even if we don't, uh, maybe we can, maybe somebody can port that over for us and uh, bring it to everybody. Um, Let's go the, the this ROM has swipe on it, but swipe does not work. You have to hunt and peck, uh, which is fine with me because I'm not all that fond of swipe anyway. I've tried multiple times to get used to it, um, and it's uh, I, I'm a lot slower than on a regular keyboard, I think. Um, so yeah, I, I usually disable flash on the browser, or at least set it to on demand. But this is the first run of the browser uh, since flashing this ROM, um, and yeah, it's uh, you know, you can pinch to zoom, that's still okay. You can do it. Oh, missed the spot there. Here we go. Yeah, so the browser runs okay, um, loads up nice and quick on the Wi Fi. And now, here you have a, a few different options you have uh, power off and restart. And power off actually puts the phone in some sort of sleep mode, uh, it doesn't charge while it's in that mode. Um, and you have to take the battery out if you want to charge the phone while it's in, in the off state. Um, take the battery out and put it back in. Camera doesn't work. Um, camera or video camera don't work. Uh, not even with the camera app or vignette. Uh, I tried both of them and no luck on either of them. Here we have the my modes. Um, you know, kind of profiles. Uh, you know, home turns off, e off email notifications while you're at home. Um, and we have the dialer. Nice new dialer. Big old green call button. As opposed to the, you know, it seems like this, this one is like a blue kind of has a blue feel to it. Like a lot of the elements are colored blue, uh, except for that call button. Recent applications up here, and you'll see up at the top there, there are no signal bars. Uh, it doesn't tell you what you have for signal. I do have signal. I can text. I can make calls. Uh, I just can't see what I have, well, which is fine. Lock screen. Now you can uh, change the wallpaper for the lock screen, which is awesome. Uh, a lot of people have been wanting that or using a third-party app to do that. Oh, select here. Um, and now uh, you can do it. Take a look at it. Nice, huh? A lot of uh, you can do a lot with that. I mean, if you're a creative guy that uh, or gal uh, that does a lot with their theming, you know, making their own custom stuff, you can do a lot with that. Um, could add your own information to the lock screen, I guess, by making it into the image. Uh, we have a power saver option here, uh, which is new, or at least I don't have it on the Evo. Um, you can kind of set different profiles uh, based on um, the amount of battery left, uh, and the phone will uh, kind of change its settings all around for you to improve that battery life. Uh, all the most of the widgets are pretty much the same, um, so there's uh, not too much going on there. Uh, Ooh, the desk clock. That's one thing that I would really like to have on, on my Evo, uh, on, you know, whatever ROM I use daily, uh, is this. Uh, I like the desk clock. It's a lot nicer than the, uh, than the one for the Evo. Um, and I was going to try to uh, pull out some of the APKs from this ROM and see if I could get it working um, on whatever other ROM I'm using for that day. Uh, change ROMs, like I change my clothes, I guess. Um, but that's the beauty of it. Uh, FM radio, need my headphones, don't have them. Um, so yeah, nice little uh, desk clock. I could use that for. The, I could see myself using that as the uh, as my alarm clock and things like that. What else do we have here? Nice uh, smooth scrolling. Go into the maps. See how that looks. This is the first run of maps as well. So, and, uh, not using GPS here. Uh, GPS does work on this ROM, but um, just not here. Just using the my network uh, location here and. And that's uh, pretty accurate. Now that you guys know where I live. Nice and smooth there. Back to the zebras. 
Kardok has a nice cool mode, nice big buttons. Um, have that genius button, which kind of is like a voice command kind of button. What else here? But, uh, the pinching there brings up the five home screen still. Uh, nice weather widget. Let's dump that though. And that's almost about it, I think. Um, 48 degrees, chilly day. Got the folders here still. And not much to change there. Uh, so that looks to be about it. Uh, other than the few things about it that don't work, you know.